there's one question that we have to address today. Okay. And, you know, you're representing the industrial engineering profession. And there have been a couple of videos where I was a little bit worried about some of your mathematical skills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I just want to make sure that it's okay for you to keep your degree. Is that a thing? Can it be taken away? Taken away? There are always processes. I don't know. But, but, but. So if I demonstrate that I can no longer do semi simple math, even though I've given the commencement address and I have a bona fide degree, I, it could still all be stripped away if I continue with the math shenanigans. Mm. Well, if you if you push me on it, maybe I'll just say we won't promote your industrial engineering degree quite as much. Yeah. So, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. But, but, but let's just see what you know. I, I bet you know more than you more than you admit to sometimes. Am I about to receive a math test? Very small one. Very small. It's not going to be bad. Okay. okay. Here's here's the first question. And and by the way, I asked artificial intelligence to uh, to help me out today. So uh, I have the correct answer on uh, lots of different things. Okay, so let's see if you can do this one. This is one that, that came up in one of your Good Mythical Morning segments. One minus two thirds. That's right. That's right. Can one see? minus two thirds. Yeah, can you do that one? So two thirds mm -hmm. is less than one. It is. And one is three thirds. Correct. I'm going to say that that is one third. That is correct. Okay, so that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that one is uh, that's our that's, that's our the entry hardest level. one. No, it's not. It's that's an entry level question, right? Okay. So how how you know what? I don't want to know how many there are. Three, three. No, no not to worry. Not to worry. <clears throat> you you can do this. Okay. I, I believe. So it. I am one third of the way through. You are, in fact, very very well played. Very well played. All right, next thing. Can you draw a normal distribution? Let's say a standard normal. Can I draw a normal distribution? And you're something of an artist, so um, I think that, you know, but it should be reasonable. Um, I think I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, even better. Let's yeah. see. So. I'll take your turn. Very nice, very nice. That is a lovely normal distribution. Is that good? Well done. Well done. That's good. I'm very good at normal. Yeah, yeah. I'm the most normal mm -hmm. person oh, really? that you'll ever meet. You're not out on the tails. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm right here. This is. This is me. I don't think this so. Is, this is me no, somewhere no. in here. No, I don't think so. Do you okay. think Brett would say that? Um, let's leave him out of this. All right, fine. We'll leave him out of this. All right. So now I am going to get to the hard one uh, here, and this one is a bit harder. And if you don't okay. get it, I'm not sure that we can take a degree away, but I would just have to. Does it involve you know, a logarithm? No, it does not. Okay, good. No, but I need it then. Oh. Because I think that, I mean, oh. I could give it to you in words, but I think it would be better if I gave it to you in written in its geometry, if you will. What we have here is a row vector and a column vector. Yeah, of course, yes. Yeah. So, the row vector and the column vector. Exactly, exactly. But I just thought maybe I would draw it out as well. So, so then... Yeah, so, so you know how to do that um, fundamental Yeah, of course, we have a row vector and a column vector. And this is a trick question. And I knew that. Okay, it's good. Because the equals actually goes over here. You can put the equals over What you've done is you've given me the question, and I've given you the answer. Oh, are you? Okay, all right. There it is. Oh, okay, all right. Well, I'll, I'll that, that is one. correct. Okay. There's, a, there's an actual numerical uh, value. So oh, there, there, there is a, a there's a oh, oh, yeah. no. Well, the hint was it's a trick question, and I know it's a numerical value. There's another hint. Do you want one? I think it's no. I'm not gonna make it. Okay. Um, I think it's um, I think that's it. Very interesting. It's a I know it's a matrix. That would have gotten you half credit, but not full credit because right because I'm all, but I'm only halfway done. All right, but no, but that is actually incorrect because that is a column vector type of row vector. But I've given you the row vector as a column. Oh right, yeah, so I had it this way. <laughs> Oh, very well. 
Yes, you did, in fact. Well done. Uh, right. That so now that's correct. Bonus points. So is this now correct? Time. Now that... That, I believe, is correct. <laughs> right. See? Yeah. Okay. So we'll there take it is. that. We'll but take but that. if this were what you wanted, mm -hmm. then... Mm -hmm. I can't say you still don't want to hint. I want to hint for do your you, question, yeah. even do though I'm answering. Do you use uh, Excel much? All the time. Oh, sum yeah. Product. Oh, yeah. Like, um, Have you ever done a sum product? The formula? Yeah, you do. You, like, at symbol some bracket yeah 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 but what would the sum product calculation be? what is it right it's like oh. red had some apples and link had some apples okay all right how many pieces of fruit are there all right i got it i got it <laughs> it is in fact two it yes. is not there it is one so you got there yeah right. you, you had some fundamentals but I had in the... the background it's just been a while right that's fine. see look at that Good. we'll take it Three for three. Yeah, we'll take it. Three we'll for three it. for me. Well, I can keep my degree. Yeah, he can keep his degree. 